Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Gaming Edition for the week of July the 4th, 2018. We are vlogging the news this week, so let's hit up that intro real quick. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump in the news, let's hit in on the sponsor for the week. This week we're sponsored again by Mercari and by Poshmark. Uh, we are selling stuff on both Mercari and Poshmark. It's a lot of stuff up there. Pictures should be cycling on your screen right now. Uh, this is a necessary part of uh, living in this place that we are living. So we're trying to, to cull the the clothing issue <laughs> so check it out links in the description to both the Mercari and the Poshmark sites where we are selling all of our stuff and now let's jump into the news first on our list this week for gaming is Left 4 Dead 3 that's right the series that everybody loved but apparently died out for reasons is coming back maybe uh, it seems that Valve South, a.k.a. Turtle Rock, uh, th they used to call themselves Valve South, and I don't know what happened, why they have a name change, but they do. So, they just posted some job listings that seem to imply, they, they, they say outright that they are, there's going to be for a known IP, a blockbuster IP that has yet to be announced. Uh, because it is former Valve South, now Turtle Rock, uh, the hope is that it's going to be Left 4 Dead 3, but there's no real other evidence that it's going to be that, aside from certain things in the postings, but they could potentially be for other games as well. So we won't know until probably a little ways down the road, but it's interesting to think about and it's always fun to dream, right? Next on our list for gaming this week, it's a little game called Barack Fu. Uh, we know Shaq Fu is happening. That's a given. We've discussed it a few times. And actually the game, I've seen a little bit more game footage recently doesn't look like it's going to be that bad. It looks like it's going to be more Streets of Rage, which I think we discussed once before, but it looks pretty solid in gameplay. So we can't knock it for that. Barack Fu, though, is going to be DLC for Shaq Fu, in which you play Barry Obama, and it's it's basically, they play it as a Dirty Harry. The, the subtitle is The Adventures of Dirty Barry or something like that. So, just a real random thing. I, I think this is so telling of just media in general that we can get Barack Obama in a video game, but, but if we were to put any conservative president in a video game right now, they would be the villain. They would be the end boss, effectively. If you put Reagan in a game, he's gonna be either a moron or a horribly bad guy. He's not gonna be the hero of the story. So it's just telling. That's the only reason I wanted to bring this up, because it's like, show your cards more. You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know. But this is angering me, so we're gonna move on. Next on the list... <laughs> is modding, actually. The last two bits have to deal with modding. The first one is a mod uh, for Doom 2. There's, uh, there's, They just released a mod. Somebody, I, they didn't catch who the modder was. Just released a mod uh, that is modeled after Super Mario Brothers. It's Doom with Super Mario Brothers elements. It's really crazy looking. I'll link to the uh, trailer for it down in the description. 
It's hilarious. It's called Doom 2 The Golden Souls. Uh, I mean, Doom has such an incredible com modding community anyway. I'm surprised it took this long for something like this to happen. I don't know how the mod necessarily affects the gameplay in that there's like coins and stuff that you can get, but do the coins help? I couldn't tell. It's still really cool. But our last bit of news has to do with the Xbox and Microsoft's new take on the modding community. So, Microsoft announced this week that they are working on a mod community for the Xbox. Uh, it seems it's going to be a uh, kind of a social media kind of thing in that they're going to you're going to be able to converse with like-minded creators um, you're going to have resources through Microsoft to help you mod certain I, they didn't say if it's going to be certain games if you're going to be able to mod any game on the Xbox one I don't know that was not specified I'm sure though there's going to be a specific list of games right now it's really just Fallout and Skyrim right and even then, you have to do the mod on a computer, and then so I don't know how the mods are going to work. They didn't lay that out either, but it's going to seem it seems social media ish because they're going to allow you to promote, whereas on the uh, the Bethesda modding stuff, you just post it and hope for the best. Is is as far as I've seen. I mean, I could be wrong on the PC side of things, but as far as Xbox One goes, if you're looking for a mod for your Fallout because I haven't played the Skyrim that has modding of, uh, options on the Xbox. But if you're looking to mod your Fallout, then you just kind of have to sift through all the junk. Whereas Microsoft has looked at that and went, well, this is a little chaotic. How can we improve this? And it seems like their answer to that is, let's allow them to promote on the platform. So very interesting. We'll see what happens. And that, guys, is the end of this week's gaming episode. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. There's all kinds of extra stuff on the website for free, so check it out. Also on the website are the social media links, Instagram, Twitter, and so on and so forth. So check out all that and links to the stores so you can get your nerdy swag or... You can go over to patreon.com slash generallynerdy and support the channel a little more directly. The lowest tier, there are four tiers, and the lowest one is a dollar a month. For just a dollar a month, you can support me a great deal. That dollar does so much, you don't even know. So check it out, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you like the episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tack one of those boxes right there to the left of my face to do that. But... Before we go, guys, always, always remember, if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. And that is how we vlog the news.